Hey guys, I just wanted to jump on quickly to share with you why it is that I created the Healthy Happy Gut program. So um, to begin, I know from my own experience that if we don't address our gut health, then we won't get better. So for example, um, most people that know me know that I had um, a lot of issues going on when, oh sorry, my baby had a lot of issues going on when he was born. Um, and in order to help fix him or to help make him happier and healthier, we needed to address his gut health. Now through doing this, I had to also change my gut health because I was breastfeeding him. I learned a lot from doing that and it really helped change my whole perspective on how to really make the most out of our health and how to actually get better. Because at the end of the day, if we don't address our gut health, we're not going to get better. Because if we have diarrhea or constipation, for example, that means we're not able to absorb our nutrients properly. Or so for example, constipation, we have a buildup of toxins, that toxicity affects our whole system and our whole body. If we have diarrhea, that means the um, nutrients aren't being absorbed properly and they're going straight through us. So if we don't fix what's going on in the gut and we don't address the cause of what's going on, whether that be parasites, pathogenic bacteria, yeast, candida, um, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, whatever it might be for you, if we don't remove the inflammation or the, trigger, the triggers of the gut inflammation, then we're not going to get better because we know that these things and bacteria can have um, an effect on every other system within the body. It can have an effect on our moods, it can have an effect on our um, endocrine system, so affect our hormones, our adrenals, our thyroid function. So it's really important that we address our gut health and in order to do that, we don't just need to take supplements or medicines. We need to take a look at our diet and remove those inflammatory foods to allow the gut to heal. And so the reason why I created the nutrition program to be gluten, dairy and soy free is because these are common trigger foods for most people. Now they might not be a trigger food for you, but you don't know that until you remove it and then reintroduce it. You don't know it for, um, for a matter of fact, I mean. so. Um, we can think that we have an issue with a food, but if we don't actually take it out, see the benefits over a period of time, and mind you, it takes four weeks um, for certain foods to actually get out of the system and for symptoms to stop happening because of those foods. So if we don't remove those first and foremost before putting them back into the diet, then we don't know if they are an issue for us. So again, we can um, do all the good things that we're supposed to do, but if we're still consuming those foods that trigger inflammation in our body, then we won't get better. Um, so at the end of the day, I guess what I'm saying is, I created this program because I have a love of gut health, because I know how important it is for each and every one of us. And I know that if we don't address our gut health, then we won't get better. So yeah, that's why I created this eight week healthy, happy gut program. And if you feel like you need to work on your gut health, make sure you get in contact and we can see what we can do for you. Okay, bye.